Do neighbours envy neighbours? I think it's more to do with when status changes rather than people actually putting people down. Um, for example, within our own family, my mother-in-law was the poorest member of the family. Yeah, not in the extended, but within the siblings. Um, for being nice, she 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 works as a seamstress. She was fifteen years old. Went you know not locally in Manila, so she's living in another another island, um, miles away from home, from her childhood, working making clothing. Um, she paid for her siblings' educations. But then you've got siblings that come out as engineers, etc., then start to look down on her because she never finished her education. They don't look at the fact they would have had no education if it wasn't for her sacrifices. She gave up her opportunities to help the family. She was committed to the family success, but then they dislike the fact that they, they, it's very bitter, very bitter. Even more so when... I help my mother and father-in-law develop their own things. You know, like I said, my mother-in-law runs her own store. Uh, my father-in-law deals with their loan company. They've got their own little enterprises now. Uh, yes, I help bankroll them, but at the same time, I've never wanted the money back, and I'm quite happy that they can be at home every day because they have the opportunity to work for themselves. Um... From the family point of view, though, a lot of people don't like it. Because you've got to imagine, when I first met my wife, there was no glass in the windows, things like that. Things were being built over a long period of time. You go there today, and it's all renovated. And not only renovated, it's fairly big. Um, then we bought the building lot next door as well, and we renovated and built that as well. So... Time frame wise, you've got relatives that like to go, oh, here's some money for something, you know, I'm the big brother, I'm helping you out. Well, the little brother helping, but I work overseas, so I'm helping you out, I'm more important. And then the turn things to turn around where you go, I don't need your help anymore because I actually look after myself. Um, but on, on top of that, they, I don't need any interference in my life where you decide what's mine and what isn't. So those things change. And this is where OFWs have problems when they come home because some OFWs have internal issues with family because this, the whole status changes because when you're buying the party and paying for everybody to come and sit and eat all your food and drink all your beer, etc., everybody's your friend. But when you're going home permanently, after a while, you really see who your friends and family are. You know, the people that come every Wednesday or whatever. Um, that's reality. Now, neighbour-wise, it's probably very similar. Our neighbours opposite are... Um, it's, it's quite odd with us because we... Our side of the road is this side. And we've got a large compound here. Then we've got the, we own the next compound as well. Opposite is a relative that owns this compound, which is quite a large house. Then the three, four houses alongside that. Then behind us is another relative, the grandmother, or uh, the sister of my wife's grandfather, who's got the next big um, lot. Then next door to that is another relative that has got three or four they might even have six rentals now, plus their main house. So for us, it's hard for me to really comment on that because we're all at a similar status because we all work in our own little ways as a family group. You know, each unit is a family, but also overall, nobody really has any politics with each other. It's normally within siblings that you get the biggest problems um, because it all comes down to who can get land ownership, who can get the assets if somebody dies, who can get this and that. Um that's where the problems come from. Where the pecking order changes, like say, status with finances and stuff, that can have a severe impact. But would neighbours not get on? It's possible. And it does happen to some expats because an area 
this is where crowd mentality comes from. If an area is all level, everyone's got the same income, same small little houses, etc. There's no real politics between everybody. If everybody's got nothing, there's nothing to argue about. But when you get the little expat, go, well, oh, there's, there's my house in amongst all these uh, single level houses. That's when you start getting a bit of backbiting in politics <laughs> because these guys have been trying for years to get ahead or maybe doing nothing. Um, and then the expat's gone and retired and invested some money in a property. Would they do much to you? Um, I would say it really depends on the people. Um, I know with the court case I dealt with, with Ian Griffiths, there was some of the neighbours had tried to make claims before because they just didn't like them. Um, it wasn't that the Ian and his partner were doing anything wrong or anything else. It's just they didn't like them. Um, was it envy? I would say it's a good, good piece of it. Uh, but... I don't know those people that well, you know, I don't, I've never been to their house, I don't even know what the area looks like, but I just know from speaking to Ian myself, what sort of stuff was going on in the background, plus I've um, read some information and things where you can actually see that this was actually more of a vendetta thing rather than anything else. So, yes, you can get envy. Can it be damaging? Um, the Ian Griffiths case, I'd say yes, that was pretty severe. Um, being accused of a child murder is quite severe. Um, but was it the neighbours that instigated it? I would say the they were part of the problem, but there's a bigger problem relating to corruption and other things as well. Um, Ian, as far as I'm concerned, is completely innocent. Now, what about anybody else? It's mainly petty stuff, you know, boxing your car in so you can't get your car out. We've had it with relatives put a, put a fence across the road, <laughs> you know, so we couldn't get our car out. That's how petty some things get. But, like I said, that's more relatives than, than neighbours. The neighbours are pretty cool. You don't get any problems with the neighbours. I mean, we've got one na neighbour that's actually... Um, got some mental health issues and drug issues but even then he may go off the handle in his little area or whatever but he'll come across and apologize to me because he wa he doesn't want to disrupt me <laughs> so he'll actually come over and say oh i'm sorry about that blah 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 and then he'll go back to annoying his relatives so i would say it all depends how you treat people i treat all my neighbors with respect and they all respect me so i don't really have these problems um yeah but is there envy yes there is always envy in some form uh but not with everybody it's normally a small group within a few hundred people that will be backbiting and stuff but that's that's the world what you know it's not it's not the philippines it's just the way the world is <laughs> thanks for watching yeah.